I'm Adam. And I'm Cleo. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Hey, Cleo. Do you think that you're mindful of our resources and not being wasteful? My cousin once told me, don't cry over spilled milk. So I never cried over my favorite bamboo smoothie. Cleo, that's not exactly what we meant by being wasteful. It's more about using things wisely and not using more than we need. Got it. Like when I tried to share my bamboo stash with my friend, but I accidentally gave him the whole tree instead of just a branch. Not quite. It's more like using just the right amount of resources so we don't waste anything. Like the time I made a huge pot of bamboo soup but forgot to invite anyone over, so I had to eat it all by myself. We want to avoid overconsumption and wasting things unnecessarily. Oh, I get it now. Like when I thought I was saving water by taking shorter baths, but I forgot to turn off the tap, and the whole bathroom flooded. Let's just say being mindful of our resources means using just what we need without excess. I'll try my best not to accidentally turn my home into a bamboo forest next time. Today's book will teach young, budding ecologists about how our actions affect planet Earth and the big impact we can make by the little things we do. Let's get started. What a waste, by Jasper. Our planet is drowning in waste, but if we act now, it's not too late to save it. Introduction. As a child, one of my favorite things to do was search the beach for washed up treasure. I lived by the coast and spent hours looking through the sand for sea creatures and fossils. I fan found all sorts of amazing things, but unfortunately I also found lots of trash. From balloons to toilet seats, I was often more likely to find a piece of plastic than a shell. Today as a vet, I see firsthand the terrible effect that our garbage has on wildlife and pets. Humans are now producing more waste than ever before, and our planet is suffering. I truly believe that if everyone was aware of how bad their trash is for the planet, they would take steps to change it. By spreading the word, I hope we can begin to turn the tide on waste and make our world a nicer, cleaner place for all of us to enjoy. Luckily, there are simple solutions to many of the waste problems, and the power to make a positive change is in our hands. Jess French The Problem of Waste we dump enough waste every year to fill a line of trucks going around the world 24 times. Waste is all the things we throw away. Everything we do creates some kind of waste. It's part of living our lives. However, it's important to make sure that we don't create more waste than we absolutely have to. Waste is a problem for animals all over the world. Pets and wildlife can become tangled in plastic litter or mistake parts of its food. Sea creatures are in most danger. Building new landfill sites destroys animal habitats while burning trash creates air pollution. Throwaway culture. Plastic cups, takeout boxes, spoons and straws, many products that are made to be thrown away. But where do these disposable objects go once you have finished with them? In 30 years, we'll be creating 70% more waste than we do now if we don't change our habits. As well as attracting disease-carrying rats, huge trash sites called landfills produce gases that warm up the earth and liquids that pollute water. Plastic is an amazing material. It is tough, waterproof, and lasts a long time. However, these properties make plastic very difficult to get rid of. Many types of plastics can't be recycled, and those that get thrown in the trash will not fully rot away. Pollution Pollution is when something harmful gets into the environment and hurts animals, plants, and people. It can come from surprising places. Some types of pollution, such as oil in the water, are easy to see, while other types are completely invisible. Air pollution Cars, factories, farms, and landfills all create toxic gases. These can spread for hundreds of miles through the air we breathe. Air pollutants are bad for our lungs, causing problems such as asthma. P. 
people drive more than 269 million motor vehicles in the USA. Noise pollution. Loud noise is stressful enough to make us ill. One in five people in Europe can hear so much nighttime noise that it could damage their health through the lack of sleep. The worst noise villain are cars and aircraft. Soil pollution. Lots of farmers use chemicals to help their crops grow and to kill insects. These build up the soil and make it poisonous. When it rains, the toxic chemicals get washed away from the soil and end up in local rivers, lakes, and seas. Chemicals being sprayed on crops. 250,000 birds were killed in an oil spill from the Exxon Valdez oil tanker in 1989. Water pollution. Oil is a major cause of water pollution. It drips from boat engines or spills when ships or pipes full of oil are damaged. It sticks to the fur and feathers of sea creatures, which then clump together and stop being waterproof. Animals can be poisoned when they try to get the oil off of their tongue or beak. Light pollution. The night sky above towns and cities often glows with light. This can be deadly to newly hatched turtles. They mistake the lights for moon's reflection on water and wander inland instead of out to sea. 92% of the world's people are breathing polluted air. Researchers have found that air pollution makes people worse at math tests. Air pollution. Of all the different types of pollution, air pollution is the most dangerous. Breathing polluted air kills 7 million people in the world every year. Cities around the world are finding new ways to tackle air pollution. Electric cars. Cars powered by electricity do not produce as many fumes as cars that run on gasoline or diesel fuel. Diesel is particularly bad for people because when it burns it creates gases called nitrog nitrogen oxides, which are dangerous to breathe in. Greener cities. Planting trees in polluted cities helps to clean up the air. Trees can capture tiny particles of pollution on their bark and leaves and absorb harmful gases. Smart warnings. The city of Seoul, South Korea protects its people by sending warnings if the air pollution is high. This helps people who have breathing problems decide to stay inside. Earth's resources. It takes 300 million years for coal to form. Plastic Frisbee. Plastic is made out of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are main fuels used in transportation. Plastic soccer ball. Gas truck. Gas. Deep wells are drilled into the ground to take out gas and oil. Oil well. Fossil fuels. Fossil fuels such as gas and coal are made from the ancient remains of living things. Fossil fuels are burned to power vehicles, to heat homes, and to make electricity. These fuels take millions of years to form. Wood. Wood is an important material. It is used to build houses, make furniture, and as a source of fuel. We also use trees to make books, magazines, and toilet paper. Timber forest. Wooden table. More than 60% of Earth's land was once covered in trees. Now it's less than 30%. The main reason we chop down trees is for farmland. Wooden chair, wooden spoon, toilet paper, book. Forest Stewardship Council, FSC paper, is from forests in which more trees are planted than cut down. Water. There is a fixed amount of water on the earth. The same amount of water exists now as it did when our planet was formed. Unfortunately, most of this water is no good to us. Water in the ocean is too salty to drink, and we have made a lot of Earth's water dirty with our waste. Planet Earth is full of useful materials from fresh water to glittering gold. These are called natural resources. We use them for so many things that it's hard to imagine a world without them. However, we need to be careful not to use them all up. Water is used in the process of making things in factories. Less than 1% of the Earth's water is ready to drink. Minerals. Minerals are solid materials that form underground over millions of years. There are thousands of different minerals, including silver and gold. Minerals can be valuable, but mining them can greatly damage the environment. We're starting to run out of some rare minerals. Gold mine. Tin is used to coat other metals to stop them from rusting. 
aluminum bike frame. Bauxite is used to make a light, strong metal called aluminum. Laptop. Gold was one of the first minerals to be mined. Tungsten doesn't melt easily and can be found in rockets, laptops, and x-ray machines. Quartz is used in glass making. Glass bottle. An electronic tablet contains about 35 different materials. Earth's Atmosphere The atmosphere is a layer of gases surrounding our planet that protects us from the sun's heat. Gases that keep the Earth warm are called greenhouse gases. Activities such as burning fuel to power vehicles produce more of these. This causes a rise in temperature all over the world. The ozone layer absorbs up to 98% of the sun's UV rays, which damage skins. Melting ice. Rising temperatures across the world are causing large areas of ice, such as mountain glaciers, ice caps, and ice sheets in polar regions to melt. The resulting meltwater flows into the ocean, raising the sea level. Sea ice covering the Arctic Ocean is shrinking. Look at the amount of ice in the summer of 1980 left, compared to the amount in the summer of 2012 right. Ozone is a form of the gas oxygen. The ozone layer is high up in the atmosphere. Power plant. Power plants generate electricity, and many are powered by coal or gas. When these fuels are burned, they release large amounts of carbon dioxide. This is the greenhouse gas most commonly produced by human activities. Greenhouse gases. When energy from the sun hits the Earth's surface, some is absorbed, but a lot is reflected back as heat. Greenhouse gases act like a blanket, preventing this reflected heat from leaving the atmosphere. So if there's an increase in greenhouse gases, the planet becomes warmer. This rise in temperature is called global warming. Extreme weather. Global warming causes extreme weather. In recent years, heat waves, droughts, wildfires, and rain and snowstorms have become much more common. Transportation. Cars, trucks, buses, trains, and planes give off huge amounts of greenhouse gases. This is because most of these vehicles are currently powered by burning fossil fuels. A single cow can release up to 265 pounds, 120 kilograms of the greenhouse gas methane each year. Trees capture greenhouse gases. Cutting down trees removes the best air filter. Extreme weather can cause problems such as flooding. Coastal areas are most at risk from rising sea levels due to melting ice. Smog. Smog is a thick fog of toxic gases and particles, usually found over cities it is worse on hot days when there is not wind to carry it away. Hot weather and low rainfall increase the risk of dangerous wildfires. Deforestation. Humans have been cutting down trees for thousands of years to build homes and make fires. We're now cutting down forests faster than ever before, not only for timber and fuel, but also to clear large areas for farming. Trees are also cut down to make paper, we use 985,000 tons, 1 million metric tons, of paper every day. There are 3 trillion trees in the world, but 15 billion are cut down every year. What can you do? Ask your parents or caregivers to choose products that use sustainable palm oil. This means the oil palm trees have been grown in a way that is kind to people, animals, and the environment. Why do we need forests? Forests are not just a collection of trees, they're a vital part of a healthy planet. Carbon dioxide. As trees grow, they use up carbon dioxide, a gas in the air that causes climate change. They soak up other harmful gases from the air too. Oxygen. Forests are the lungs of the earth, pumping out the oxygen that we breathe. Water supply. Trees transport water from the soil back into the air, where it can form rain clouds and prevent droughts. Soil protection. 
Tree roots keep the soil in place, preventing it from being carried away by water or the wind. Flood protection. During heavy rainfall, trees slow the flow of water into rivers and streams, helping to prevent floods. Medicine. Lots of medicine are extracted from rainforest plants or based on substances found in them. Biodiversity. About 80% of all living things found on the land live in forests. This variety is called biodiversity. People. About 300 million people worldwide live in forests and even more depend on them for their work and food. Palm oil is a preservative, which means it stops things from spoiling. It has many other names, at least 200. They include palm kernel, palmate, glycerol, stearic acid, sodium, curmelate, and often it is just referred to as vegetable oil. So it can be very difficult to know if your favorite products contain the oil. However, if you really want to avoid it, you can do some research on the internet to find brands that make a point of not using it. Palm oil is used in more than half of all products supermarket in the supermarket. Orangutans have lost more than 80% of their forest habitat in the last 20 years. They are now at high risk of extinction in the wild. Palm oil. Palm oil is a smooth, creamy oil made from the fruit of African oil palm tree. It is used in a huge number of products, from cooking oil and chocolate to cleaning products and lipstick. The oil palm tree is native to Africa, but is now grown in other parts of the world on huge farms called palm oil plantations. Forests are cut down and replaced with palm oil trees, and that means animals lose their home. Palm oil fruit. Conservation. Many types of animal and plant are threatened by human actions, such as deforestation, hunting, pollution, climate change, and disease. We have to act now to protect them and make sure they do not disappear forever. There are many ways we can help threatened species. Extinction. Many animals have smaller and smaller spaces to live in due to deforestation, destruction of their habitats, and hunting. If we don't protect them and their natural homes, they will soon die out just like the dodo. Ecotourism. Trips to areas where there are endangered animals and habitats is called ecotourism. It brings in money to local communities and helps protect wildlife. Tourists have to be careful not to cause any harm. They must keep to footpaths and not get too close to the wild animals. Protecting our forests. The best way to protect forests is to turn them into conservation areas. In 2017, Papua New Guinea created the Monogolis Conservation Area, protecting 1,400 square miles, 3,600 square kilometers of ancient forests. Reintroductions. We can help animals that find it hard to survive in the wild by breeding them in captivity. In Eastern Asia, Amur leopards struggled in the wild. However, we are now breeding them in zoos in the hope that they can one day go back to their natural home. Reintroducing animals to their habitat once they have been wiped out can be very difficult. However, in 2009, beavers were reintroduced to Scotland, UK, and they are doing well. Rhino horn. All over the world, animals are killed for their body parts. Rhinos are killed for their horns, which are used in traditional medicine. In some places, vets remove rhinos' horns so that poachers have no reason to kill them. A rhino in South Africa has its horns sawn off to make it valueless to poachers. Protecting our oceans. If we make overfished parts of the ocean into protected areas, the numbers of fish there will get a chance to recover. The Rapa Nui Rahui Marine Protected Area off the coast of Chile protect more than 140 marine species found nowhere else on the earth. Amazing sea creatures such as porpoises and dolphins can be injured or killed by fishing nets. In 2017, Mexico banned the gill net. This kind of net was threatening to wipe out a type of porpoise called the vaquita. 
hunting bands. In some areas, animals are still hunted and killed for sport. Grizzly bears are one of the animals targeted in, in this way. In 2017, British Columbia, Canada banned the killing of grizzly bears for either meat or sport. Grizzly bears are a keystone species, meaning they're crucial to the well-being of their ecosystem. Renewable Energy Life would be very different without heating and electricity. We are using up fossil fuels to create these types of energy, and we can't make more of them. Energy from sources that will never run out is called renewable energy. Solar Light energy from the sun can be used to heat water and to make electricity. It is, called, it is collected by solar panels. Greenhouse gases surround the earth making it warmer. These gases are produced when fossil fuels are burned to make energy. Biomass Plants can be used as fuel. Crops, leftover food, wood, and waste can be burned to make energy. Hydroelectric Hydroelectric energy uses the power of moving water. Dams are built to direct river water so that it drives electricity making machinery. Geothermal Rocks and water deep underground are hot or geothermal. This heat can be used to create electricity. Wind Wind power is collected using wind turbines. The wind turns their blades, setting off machinery that changes the energy into electricity. New technology. Scientists are working to develop new and exciting ways to, of producing energy that will not harm the planet. Electric cars. Cars can run on electricity instead of gas or diesel, which are fossil fuels. Energy making sidewalks. Special sidewalks can create power. Footsteps press down on machinery beneath the sidewalk, which produces energy for things such as lighting. Using renewable energy means better air and healthier lungs. Human heated buildings. Human warmth can be used to heat buildings. Body heat in busy buildings can be collected in air vents. It warms up water to be pumped through pipes. Efficient home. Many homes lose heat, wastewater, or use too much electricity. Efficient homes waste very little or nothing. Their electricity and heat is often made without using fossil fuels. In homes that aren't spe specially built to be efficient, there's lots that can be done to waste less. Shipping container. Containers used for shipping cargo can be made into homes. Earth ships. These homes provide their own energy and collect water from rain. Solar panels. Solar panels change sunlight into electricity. Solar phone charger. Electrical items can be powered by the sun. Take shorter showers. Close windows. Homes lose lots of heat through their windows. Turn radiators off when it's warm. Turn faucets off. Shut the fridge door. Turn lights off in empty rooms. Turn off the TV. Turn this off after use or read a book instead. Double glazing. Less heat transfers to the outside with these windows. Energy efficient light bulbs. These are cheaper to run than normal light bulbs. Insulation in walls. Heat is lost through walls. Special padding called insulation can be used to keep it in. Washing machine. These can wash clothes using hot or cold water. The cold setting saves energy. Smart meter. This allows you to keep track of the energy you use. Straw bale house. Bales of straw are good insulators and can be used to build houses cheaply. Zero carbon. A system that does not produce carbon dioxide is called zero carbon. Dirt is used to build some eco houses. Eco houses. An eco house is built to have a small effect on the environment and is often made out of reused or natural materials. It is very well insulated and airtight to keep heat in. The electricity comes from renewable sources, such as sunlight. Renewable energy. Household waste. Almost everything we do creates waste, from leftover food and broken belongings to packaging and old clothes. We often throw away things that could be mended or reused. 
If we recycle trash instead, it will be made into something new. However, many things can't be recycled. More than 200 billion aluminum cans are used every year. Cans, leather shoes, electronics, rubber tires. Less than 5% of shoes are recycled. Clothes. Other. Worldwide mountains of clothes, electrical products, and other items are thrown away every day. These could often be given away or mended instead. Metal. Metal is found in everything from batteries to cans. Steel and aluminum are the most common household metals. These should be recycled. Kitchen appliances, cans, foil, light bulbs, glass bottles, broken glassware, plastic bottles, glass jars. Finland recycles around 90% of its glass. Glass. Unbroken glass bottles and jars are easy to reuse at home. They can store food and drink. Glass can be recycled over and over again into new items. Some places around the world are trying to create zero or no waste. Keep reading this book to see how you can create less waste. Around 24 million slices of bread are thrown away from UK households every day. Food and garden. Huge amounts of food are wasted worldwide. Garden waste, such as plant cuttings, also get thrown away. Each year, most US households throw away 13,000 pieces of paper. Wrapping paper, cardboard, paper. We've been recycling paper for thousands of years. Sadly, lots of paper is put in trash cans and doesn't get recycled. 91% of all plastic ever created has not been recycled. Plastic. Billions of plastic items are thrown away every day. Some types can be recycled. However, the process is difficult and plastic can only be recycled a few times. Did we always throw away this much? In the past, people created much less waste. It was only in the 20th century that we first began to throw away so much. So what changed? Rags, furniture, bones. 1900. Things were often expensive or homemade. Old items were reused or fixed. Only things that were beyond repair were thrown away. 1950. Cardboard packaging. Appliances. Plastic packaging had not yet been invented, so cardboard was used instead. Most electrical items were expensive and rarely thrown away. Present day. Many things are wrapped in plastic packaging. It is cheap to make clothing and electronics, so we buy more than ever and throw lots away. Is household waste when your house is wasted? Like when you accidentally break all your furniture? No, Cleo, that's not quite it. Household waste refers to things we throw away, like food scraps, packaging, and other items we no longer need. Got it. So it's not about wasted houses. Phew. Can you tell me why it's important to reduce household waste? Is it because if we have too much waste, our houses will get really heavy and sink into the ground? Well, that'd be quite a sight. It's not the reason. We want to reduce household waste to help protect the environment and conserve resources. I see. So, we don't want our houses to become trash islands in the ocean. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Let's just remember to recycle and compost instead, okay? Got it. No sinking houses or trash islands. Where does it go? When you throw something away, it might end up on the other side of the world. All waste goes on a journey after it's put in the trash, whether by foot to a recycling bank or by truck to a landfill. Waste is taken away to make new things to help plants grow or to be burned or safely disposed of. General waste. This type of waste cannot be recycled or composted. General waste is taken by garbage trucks to different sites. The truck crushes the trash so that it takes up less space. The waste is usually taken to one of two destinations. Incineration produces air pollution. Incineration plant. Here, trash is burned. The burning trash heats water into steam that powers machinery to make electricity. Landfill. 
Landfill sites are also known as dumps. They are holes in the ground where waste is buried. They can cover huge areas. Oil in food can stain packaging to make it unrecyclable. Recycling plant. Recycling is sorted into different types of material and made into new items. Unrecyclable items are sent to be incinerated or to landfill. Sent abroad. From 2014 to 2016, the UK sent 881,849 tons, 800 metric tons, of plastic waste a year to be recycled or disposed of in other countries. Hazardous. Items such as batteries contain hazardous or harmful materials. These go into special cans to, to be disposed of safely. Recycling containers. What can go in recycling containers depends on where you live. Some places have receptacles for each material. Other places have mixed containers. Recycling waste often gets transported by truck too. Organic waste. Garden waste and some food waste break down into a brown mixture called compost. This waste can also be broken down into a gas by microbes and used to make electricity. Growing plants. Compost can be spread over fields and gardens to help plants grow. Some cities collect compostable waste to make compost. Landfill. Massive trash piles are known as landfill sites. Many years ago, people just threw away any waste out in the streets. Eventually, we realized that living next to trash was bad for our health. It caused illnesses, so we began to move our waste out of cities and towns into landfill sites. As waste decomposes or breaks down, harmful gases such as methane and carbon dioxide are produced. Water trickling through landfill leakate collects toxic particles and can poison in nearby groundwater, water under the ground. As human populations grow, people are living closer to landfill sites. This can be serious health risk. Food in landfill sites attracts many animals. They can be poisoned by toxins and choke on pieces of plastic. Dangerous gases can be produced in landfill sites if chemicals such as ammonia and bleach mix together. Before Garbage Mountain Israel used to have a huge stinking landfill site called Haria, also known as Garbage Mountain. The site has now been transformed into Ariel Sharon Park. The mountain of trash was sealed with a layer of plastic. On top of this, gravel and soil were added so that plants could grow. Other countries are now doing the same with their old landfill sites. After, visitors to the park can go on walking and cycling trails, visit its small zoo, and enjoy outdoor concerts. Bantar Gebang landfill site in Jakarta, Indonesia is one of the largest in the world and the same size as 160 soccer fields. Plastic Forever Once a plastic object such as a toy or water bottle is made, it sticks around for a very long time. Plastic does not rot away. It just breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces. We have to find somewhere to put all the plastic objects we throw away. Where does it go? Since plastic was invented, around 9.1 billion tons, 8.3 billion metric tons, have been made. A lot of this plastic goes into trash dumps called landfill sites. Only a small amount has been recycled so far. 9% of plastic is recycled. 12% of plastic is burned. 79% of plastic is burned in landfills or dumped on land or at sea. Around 20,000 plastic bottles are bought per second. Less than half of these are collected for recycling. Types of plastic. There are many types of plastic, each with different properties, from strong and hard to soft and flexible. We need to make sure we dispose of them correctly. Some plastics cannot be recycled, while others can be recycled in centers that have the correct technology available. Plastic bottle. Polyethylene terephthalate, PET. 
This is one of the most common types of plastic used to make things. It is found in most water bottles and drink bottles. Plastic containing PET can be widely recycled but should not be reused because bacteria can start to grow on it over time. Also, chemicals from within the plastic could start to leak into the containers. Polystyrene PS. This is lightweight and easily made plastic generally used to make disposable drinking cups, egg cartons, and foam packaging. It breaks up easily and is often blown into oceans where it can harm marine life. Polystyrene cannot usually be recycled and we should reduce our use of it whenever possible. Polypropylene PP. This plastic is tough, light, and heat resistant. It is used to make plastic liners found in cereal boxes, disposable diapers, yogurt containers, and chip bags. PP can sometimes be recycled, but isn't accepted everywhere. To recycle items made from PP, always check if your local recycling center will accept it. How can I help? Drink from a re reusable water bottle instead of disposable plastic bottles. Use paper straws and cups and wooden cutlery rather than plastic. Take your own bag to the supermarket rather than using a new plastic one. Single-use plastic. We live in a disposable world. Half of all plastic items are used just once before being thrown away. Put together, this would create a pile of waste building about the same as three Empire State Buildings. Plastic milk jugs, plastic drink bottles, plastic cups, reusable cups, 60 million disposable water bottles are thrown away every day. Reusable bottles. Milk to refill a reusable milk bottle. Throw away items. Not including incinerated waste. Almost every single piece of plastic ever created still exists. Plastic never breaks down entirely, just into smaller and smaller bits. About 40% of plastic is unneeded packaging soap bottle, plastic toothbrushes, disposable diapers, reusable diapers, wooden toothbrush, bars of soap. Eco-friendly swaps. You can swap environmentally friendly or reusable material for every single type of disposable plastic. Natural materials that break down without causing pollution such as mushrooms make great packaging. Some people try not to create any trash at all. Balloons. When balloons fall back down to the earth, they are often eaten by wildlife. This can make animals ill. Sea turtles often eat plastic bags, confusing them with jellyfish. The turtle's digestive system can become blocked with plastic. Plastic straws, plastic cutlery, plastic wrap. Enough plastic is thrown away each year to wrap around the earth four times. Plastic bags are used for an average of 12 minutes. Beeswax wrapping. Plastic wrap is made of plastic, but beeswax wraps are a reusable alternative. Metal cutlery, paper straws. Plastic straws take up to 200 years to break down into tiny pieces. Mushroom packaging. Fresh, loose fruit and vegetables. Pasta to ref refill your reusable containers. Tote bag. Save our seas. Imagine an island of trash in the middle of the ocean. When plastic items get washed into the sea, they clump together and form plastic trash dumps. Plastic breaks down so slowly in water that it may never entirely disappear. Pacific Ocean. Hard hats have been found in the ocean dating back as far as 1989. The plastic in the GPGP weighs around the same as 500 jumbo jets. North America, ocean gyres. Ocean water moves in patterns called currents. Gyres are currents that move around in a circle. They collect pieces of trash into huge swirling patches of waste. There are five main garbage patches in our ocean. Microplastics have been found dating back from the 1950s. Microplastics, plastics in the sea never fully disappear but only break down into smaller pieces. Pieces of plastic less than 0.2 inches 5 millimeters, are called microplastics. Fish and birds mistake these pieces for food and eat them. 
Almost half of the trash in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch comes from discarded fishing nets. Islands of Trash Garbage on the ocean is carried by moving water until it forms gigantic floating trash patches. The biggest of these patches is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, GPGP, which is in the North Pacific Ocean. It is about three times the size of France and contains about 1.8 trillion pieces of trash. Sea turtles caught in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch can end up with 74% of their diets made up of ocean plastic. Cleanup projects. Many organizations are helping to clean up ocean garbage, such as the ones below. Ask an adult before becoming a litter picking hero too. Cleaning up our oceans. From straws to deflated footballs, around a third of the plastic made each year ends up in oceans and on beaches. So what can we do to help? Scientists, governments, and ordinary people are trying to tackle the problem. Take three for the sea. Become part of this project by taking just three pieces of trash away whenever you leave a beach or waterway. Make sure recyclable materials are recycled. Coastal Cleanup Day. Join volunteers across more than 100 countries for a beach cleanup on International Coastal Cleanup Day. This is in mid-September every year. The world's largest cleanup. The largest beach cleanup in history took place in Varsova Beach, Mumbai, India. Over a three-year period, a team of volunteers managed to remove nearly 22 million pounds or 10 million kilograms of trash from the beach. The Ocean Cleaning Machine The Ocean Cleanup Organization's plastic gathering machine is the first of its kind. It has been designed to remove 50% of the waste in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch within five years. It will gather the plastic waste together so that it can be removed by nets and brought back to land to be recycled. Float Skirt A U-shaped float on the ocean surface, a large skirt is attached to the float Beneath the surface of the water, the plastic gathering machine slowly moves forward to gather plastic. Two minute beach clean. The next time you're on a beach, become part of this project by taking two minutes to collect as much trash as you can. Organize your own. Clean up show just how much waste we are making. Get your friends and family together for your very own project and help spread the word about waste. Help stop ocean garbage. Around 80% of ocean plastic is from land. There are things you can do to help stop litter getting into oceans. Litter can be blown into a river and then carried into an ocean. We can help stop this by securing trash in garbage bags and not littering. Wet wipes that are flushed down the toilet can end up in the ocean. Wipes that break down in nature can be used instead. Waste in landfills can blow into rivers. It's helpful to use less plastic and recycle what you can. Around 75 million tons, 68 million metric tons of waste are thrown away daily. Save the world with the three R's. Number one, reduce. The best way to stop creating so much waste is to buy fewer things. Take a tote bag to the store instead of using plastic bags and buy loose fruit and vegetables to avoid too much plastic packaging. 2. Reuse. The next best thing you can do is to reuse things instead of only using them once. Try a craft project to find new uses for old things. Cans and jars can make great storage containers, while colorful paper can be used to wrap presents. 3. Recycle. For anything else, recycle as much as you can. Plastic is particularly difficult to recycle, so make it eco-friendly swaps like using a paper bag that can be recycled in place of a plastic one that can't. Many people are trying to live zero waste lives. Some of them can fit their trash from a whole year inside a single jam jar. Recycling News Environmental experts say waste that cannot be reused at home should be recycled. This means the materials are made into new items, saving the use of new materials. However, not all waste is recyclable. It takes the same amount of energy to make an aluminum can as it does to power a TV for three hours. 
24 trees go into 1.1 tons, one metric ton, of newspaper. Poop gets given new life. Recycled trash can turn up in the most unlikely of items. From bike tires to notebooks, your belongings could be made of old spoons or even poo. Plastic bottle, glass jar, notebook, fleece jacket, metal spoon, toilet paper, chewing gum, bike frame, tire, cardboard, elephant poo, astroturf. Japan was the first country to record on record to recycle paper in as long as ago as 1031 BCE, all paper was recycled and repulped into new paper. Germany tops the recycling tables. The top five recyclers in the world managed to recycle over half of their waste. Germany, 56.1%. Austria, 53.8%. South Korea, 53.7%. Wales, 52.2%. Switzerland, 49.7%. Bacteria eats plastic. Plastic can only be recycled a few times because it loses quality with each round. However, scientists may have found a way to get rid of leftover plastic. A bacterium that eats the type of plastic often used to make disposable bottles was discovered in 2016. The bacterium, called Indonella saccharinesis, breaks the plastic down and uses it to help itself grow. Germany made history. In 1991, Germany became the first EU country to make people producing goods responsible for recycling their own waste packaging. Ban on bags. California banned the giving away of plastic bags in stores in 2015. It was the first U.S. state to do so. Recycling offenders. Many everyday materials cannot be recycled. These include chip bags, tissue paper, and certain types of plastic. Food-stained items are also non-recyclable. Recycling paper. Millions of trees grown on plantations and from forests are cut down every year to make paper for books, newspapers, magazines, and for drawing or printing on. Recycling paper saves these trees. The paper is mixed with water to produce a slurry or sludge. This is the first stage of de-inking during which any ink is removed. Two. The slurry is moved through cleaning screens to remove stains such as ink. 3. Air is pumped in. Ink attaches to the bubbles and floats to the top where it is removed. 4. The slurry is filtered through screens again. This removes things such as glue and staples. 5. The pulp is bleached white and then pressed into sheets and cut to size. Use less, waste less. Although it's good to recycle, the process still uses energy to turn waste into something new. It is much better and more fun to reuse your old things and turn them into something new and exciting. This is called upcycling, and its possibilities are endless. Before you throw it away, think creatively and reuse. Old plastic bottles can be turned into loads of useful objects such as bird feeders, plant pots, and funnels. In medieval times, armor was reused for centuries. A great way to reuse is to buy second-hand items. Something you need might be in your local charity shop. You could run a swap shop and trade clothes with your friends. How's that for a free makeover? Make some homemade bunting out of old fabric. Give a glass jar a new life. Jam jars and other glass jars make great containers for pens and other items of stationery. You can also use them as drinking glasses or paint them with glass paints to make colorful candle holders. Printed wrapping paper. Leftover paper or cut up clothes can be made into wrapping paper. Use stamps to print on the paper or cloth. You can even make your own stamps out of old sponges or potatoes. Designing your own wrapping paper adds a special touch to a gift. Instead of buying new, need a tote bag? Don't throw out your old t-shirts. Instead, follow these easy peasy steps to make an eye-catching accessory. You will need scissors and an old t-shirt. Be careful with scissors. Ask an adult to do the cutting for you. 1. Turn a t-shirt inside out. Cut off the sleeves. Cut a curved area around the neck. 2. Cut slits about 
2 inches or 5 centimeters long and a quarter inch 2 centimeters wide along the bottom. 3. Double knot front and back strands. 4. Decorate your bag with a patch. Turn right side out. Sewing skills. In the past, people were taught to make the most of what they had. More people had sewing skills so they could fix any holes or loose seams in their clothes. From trash to treasure. Once you've finished using something, it doesn't stop being useful. Many people have found creative new ways to reuse their trash. The Katura community in Paraguay live near the largest landfill site in the country. They have formed an orchestra that plays instruments made from garbage fan found in the landfill site. Recycled Orchestra The Orchestra of Recycled Instruments of Katura was founded in 2006 by Fabio Chavez. It is formed of 30 children whose instruments are made from items of trash that have been reshaped and put together. The instruments include violins, saxophones, and drums. The group have inspired similar programs in Brazil, Ecuador, Panama, and Burundi. Saxophone, water pipe, buttons, bottle tops, spoons, and knives. Violin, wood pallet, paint can, baking tray, fork, double bass, Spaghetti maker, oil drum. The world sends us trash, we send back music. Fabio Chavez. Old fork, old tins, wood pallet. The orchestra tours all over the world. It gives the children new experiences to motivate them to learn and opportunities to improve their future. How can you help? Get creative. Why not turn your own trash into treasure? Create a hand puppet from old socks. Make a robot costume from a cardboard box. Electronic waste. Think about your favorite devices. What happens to a smartphone or tablet once it reaches the end of its life or gets broken? Electronic waste or e-waste is the name given to electronic gadgets that are thrown away. The more often we upgrade our devices, the more e-waste we create. Types of e-waste. E E-waste ranges from personal items such as watches and phones to big household appliances like fridges and freezers. They can't be thrown into normal recycling containers and usually need to be taken to a special recycling center. Hazardous waste. Devices can contain harmful substances such as mercury, a poison found in some batteries. Proper disposal. Items with the waste of electrical and electronic equipment. Whee! symbol must not be thrown into a normal trash can. What should I do with it? It takes lots of energy to make electronics. If we throw them away when we are finished with them, all this energy goes to waste. Pass it on. If you get a new device but your old one still works, give the old one to someone who can use it. Fix it. If an appliance breaks, try getting it repaired. A new screen could make it as good as new. Glass is often used in phone screens. When it cracks, it can be usually be replaced. Glass, copper. Small amounts of copper are used to make wires. This can often be recycled because it's valuable. What's in your tablet? Tablets are very complex. They contain small amounts of lots of different precious metals, as well as rare elements like yttrium and gadolinium. These materials can be difficult to get out and reuse, but it's important that we do this rather than throw them away. Batteries are often made of lithium metal. They can sometimes be recycled, but this is expensive to do. A plastic case will protect your tablet, but these are difficult to recycle. Silicon wafers can be recycled and used in solar panels. Mineral mining. Lots of the materials used in tablets and phones are difficult and dangerous to extract from the earth. Lithium mining has been blamed for polluting water and killing fish. Valuable minerals even start wars when people fight over who controls these mines. Recycle. If it is too broken to be fixed, take it to a specialty recycling center where the parts can be used to make new electronics. Food waste. Millions of people around the world are struggling to find enough food. However, in many countries, nearly a third of all food is wasted. If the amount of food we waste was given to people who needed it, then everyone would have enough to eat. 20% of 
of dairy is wasted, 20% of meat is wasted, 30% of cereal is wasted, 30% of fish and seafood is wasted, an estimated 45% of lettuce in the UK is thrown away. One in nine people in the world are going hungry for long periods of time. 20% of legumes are wasted. Wasted resources. It takes a lot of water, energy, and farmland to produce food. When food is wasted, all of that water and energy is wasted too. If we added to together all the farmland that is used to grow food that is never eaten, it would be as big as China. 45% of fruit and vegetables are wasted. That's almost half. Stages of food waste. After leaving the farm, food goes through many different steps before reaching our plates, from harvesting and storage to processing and distribution. There are lots of chances for food to be wasted before it even gets to us. 8% of during collection of food. Farm machinery can destroy fruit and vegetables. Crops can also be attacked by insects and disease. 8% poor transportation or storage can damage meat and crops. Some animals raised from meat die from diseases making them unsafe to eat. 1.5% when raw food is made into goods like canned food and juices, some can be lost during the slicing, peeling, and boiling stages. 4% Food can be sometimes spilled inside a truck. Stores throw away fresh goods that are past their best before date. 11.5% Lots of uneaten food in our homes, schools, restaurants, and hospitals is left to, on our plates and gets thrown away. In many countries, most food waste occurs in the home. Try not to buy, cook, or put on your plate more food than you really want. Eat up have you ever put too much food on your plate and thrown leftovers away? In many countries, food that is thrown away in homes makes up more than half of all food waste. Families often buy too much and the food goes rotten before it can be eaten. However, there are lots we can do to waste less food. Oddly shaped. Supermarkets used to only accept nicely shaped large fruit and vegetables. Now you can sometimes buy oddly shaped items for cheaper prices that taste just as good. Loose vegetables. Fruit and vegetables are often sold as multi-packs. This means more are bought than are needed. If they're bought separately, none go to waste. Used oil. Used cooking oil can be turned into biodiesel, a fuel used by buses in many cities. Coffee grounds. Used coffee grounds can be placed in containers around the house to get rid of smells. Brown banana. Some people don't like to eat old brown bananas. However, they are perfect for making banana bread or ice cream. Leftovers. Leftovers can be frozen or refrigerated in reusable containers to be enjoyed another day. In some countries, leftover food from places such as restaurants is fed to farm animals. However, undercooked food can lead to the spread of disease among animals. Many countries have now banned this type of animal feed. Serving size. Don't take more food than you can eat. You can always take more once you have finished. Best before. Dates on food. Use by dates on food. Show when it becomes unsafe to eat. But best before dates. Show when it stops tasting its best. We can still use food after the best before date as long as it's not gone bad. Toast was created as a way to use up stale bread. Stale bread. If stale bread hasn't gone moldy, it can be used to make dried bread crumbs. These can be mixed with other ingredients to make sausages and other foods. Charity box. Canned or unopened, long life food that your family doesn't use can be given to people who need it through a local soup kitchen, food bank, or homeless charity. Water waste. Imagine if we ran out of clean water to use. We need to drink it to survive. Water isn't just for drinking though. It is used to make products and for lots of other things. Water is cleaned for reuse, but this process needs electricity. Saving water helps to make sure we all have enough. Up to 1.6 gallons, 6 liters of water 
is used with one flush in toilets with big and small flush buttons. The small button uses less water. Up to 3.2 gallons, 12 liters of water, pour out of running faucets a minute. Turn faucets off when you're not using them during teeth brushing and face washing. Water is one of our most precious resources. The amount of water on the earth does not change and people do not have enough of it in many parts of the world. Sewage. Toilet and sink waste is usually cleaned in a special center. Unclean sewage that gets into rivers can carry nasty poisons and diseases. These affect animals and plants. Sewage can also change water so that too much algae grows on the surface. You can write to a politician if you think there's a polluted river nearby. Too much algae stops light from getting to plants beneath. We use around 80% of our water to grow crops. If food is wasted, even more water is needed to produ produce extra crops. A cow raised for meat drinks around 15 times the amount that humans do in a day. A bath uses up to 21 gallons, 80 liters, of water. Quick showers use much less. Factory use. Water is required in factories to dilute chemicals, wash products, and to cool down machinery. It is also used inside lots of different products, including chemicals, food, and paper. It's important that there's enough water to keep making the products we need. New car bodies are cleaned in huge tanks of water before being painted. In the USA, up to 60% of the local water supply is used to water lawns. Rain barrels can be used to collect rain for watering the yard instead. One in nine people lacks access to safe water. Charities use donations to build wells that provide people with safe water. Energy. Moving water creates lots of energy that can be turned into electricity. Waves, tides, and water flowing through dams can all be used to make electricity. Norway makes 90% of its electricity from moving water. Hydroelectric plant use dam to create electricity. Any idea on what we could do to lower water waste? I know. We can all take shorter baths so we don't waste water. That's a great idea. Anything else? Yeah. We can use rainwater to fill up our swimming pools. I think that might be missing the point a little. Using rainwater is good, but filling up a swimming pool with it might not be the most practical way to save water. Or the most sanitary. Oh, sorry, Adam. I just thought it would be fun to swim in rainwater. But I guess we could just use it to water our plants instead. Exactly. That's a much better use of rainwater. And speaking of plants, we should also be careful not to overwater them. Too much water can be just as bad as too little. Oh no. I've been watering my bamboo plant every day. I thought it was thirsty because it kept saying drink, drink, drink. I think your bamboo plant might just be growing, not actually talking to you. That makes more sense. But I'll definitely water it less from now on. Thanks, Adam. Where does our poop go? Everyone poops. It's a natural part of life. In the wild, poop is recycled by tiny animals called invertebrates and helps new plants to grow. However, we need a way to get rid of the poop from our homes, towns, and cities so it doesn't start piling up. Flushing the toilet. When you flush the toilet, your pee and poop gets washed into a big pipe that is full of sewage, water, pee, and poop, taking sewage away. Fatberg. Fatbigs are solid lumps of fat found in sewers they are made of waste that will not break down, such as cooking fat and wet wipes. Separating the waste. The water goes into a sewage plant to be treated until it is clean again. First, it is run through a giant sieve, which takes out the big bits of waste and shouldn't be there, such as diapers and cotton swabs. Sewage treatment plant. Items that shouldn't have been flushed, such as diapers, are removed, but often things like bricks and bottles are found in sewage. Removing, back, removing the poop. Good bacteria. Next, the wastewater is stored in a big tank where the poop settled to the bottom and is removed. 
Air can be bubbled through the water to help good bacteria grow, which kills the bad bacteria. Sludge. Water treatment tanks. Cleaning the water. In the next tank, the water is sieved through a bed of sand and all the good bacteria settles to the bottom. The material that settles to the bottom of the tank is called sludge. The clean water is then returned to the river and streams or directed directly to the sea. Sludge treatment. Most of the sludge left over from the water treatment is used in farming as fertilizer. However, it can also be burned to make heat, electricity, or gas. One in three people on the planet don't have clean and private bathroom that you can use. Animal poop. Pets poop too. As pet owners, we are in charge of getting rid of their poop responsibly so they don't spread disease and make our home stinky. Doggy poop. Dog poop can be dangerous to people and other animals. Collect it using biodegradable poop bags and throw it in the special dog poop trash. Cat poop. Cats poops in a litter box. Litter can be made from clay or silica and can be very bad for the environment. So why not try one made from recycled newspaper instead? Poop in the wild. Many insects need poop to survive. Some insects, such as dung beetles, eat it. Dung beetles even lay their eggs in a burrow full of poop. In some countries, such as the USA, chicken poop is collected and sold as a cheap food source for beef cows. Waste World Factories When factories make new products such as toys or furniture, they also produce lots of waste. This includes chemicals such as acid and bleach, scrap metal, and polluted water. Power and Chemical Plants Power plants that make electricity and chemical plants that create chemicals can produce dangerous waste such as nuclear waste. They must be treated very carefully so it doesn't cause harm to people and animals. Farming, forestry, and fishing. When crops are harvested, the part of the plant that are not sold become waste. This includes things like rice husk, the stalks of cotton plants, and coconut shells. Mining and quarrying. We often have to dig up huge amounts of rock to get very small amounts of valuable minerals such as gold or coal. When the minerals have been taken out, big piles of waste rock are left behind. Medical buildings. Hospitals and doctor office produce waste that comes from treating disease. Their waste may contain drugs, surgical tools, and even body parts. Town and city services. Keeping our towns clean produces waste. This can be anything from the trash cleaned up off the street to grass cuttings from the local park. It's not just in our homes that we create trash. Huge piles of waste come from places such as factories and hospitals. Much of this waste is recycled, incinerated, or sent to a landfill. However, some of it has been treated in very special ways to make sure it doesn't cause damage to people, animals, or the environment. Building sites. Construction and destroying buildings causes lots of waste. Much of it comes from building materials such as bricks, concrete, wood, and tiles. Stores. A lot of the waste produced by stores comes from the packaging their goods are delivered and sold in. 10% of global waste comes from households. 90% of waste is from elsewhere. Fashion. We don't often think about how our clothes were made or what will happen to them once they become old or holy. Millions of clothes are thrown away every day. These could be given away or recycled instead. Materials and dyes used to make clothes can also harm the environment. It takes 841 gallons, 3,182 liters of water to make one cotton shirt. Plastic clothing. Polyester is a material found in many clothes. It sheds tiny pieces of plastic called microfibers that pollute oceans. Fur. Real animal fur is used to make clothes. This comes from animals such as foxes. Leather. Leather is made from animal skin. Chemicals and minerals are used to change skin into leather. These can be bad for the environment. Chemical colors. Toxic chemicals can be used to create bright colors. These can leak from factories into rivers. Girl and boy colors? 
Colors can be seen as girly or boyish. Pink tops might be trashed instead of being given to little brothers. Shoes can take up to 1,000 years to break down. Fast fashion. Today, most clothes are sewn together in factories staffed by hundreds of people and shipped into stores. It is easy and cheap to produce clothes, so they are sold at low prices. People, therefore, buy lots and throw away lots. Ethical fashion items. Clothes such as jeans can be made out of natural materials and dyes, which break down fully in the environment. High fashion. Many people buy more clothes than they need to keep up with the changing fashions. More than 500,000 marble-sized or larger pieces of trash are orbiting the Earth. In 2017, there were 308,984 recorded times when space trash nearly hit other objects. More junk in space could make future space travel too dangerous. Fishing for trash. We need to work out inventive ways of removing junk from space. In the future, satellites with nets could be used to catch it and bring it back to Earth. Space waste. It's not just the Earth who are covering in garbage. We have even left waste in space. Thousands of pieces of human-made trash orbit or circle our planet, from old satellites and dropped astronaut gloves to flecks of spacecraft paint. This junk can travel 10 times faster than a bullet and causes huge damage to spacecraft. Large debris. Large pieces of trash, such as abandoned rocket launch vehicles, must be re recorded and tracked so that spacecraft can avoid them. In 2018, there were more than 20,000 tracked pieces of large trash. ISS, the huge International Space Station, ISS, has to be steered out of the way of space junk around once a year. As more junk is added to the space, the ISS may need to make more of these tricky moves. Small debris. There are millions of pieces too small to be tracked, traveling at speeds of up to 17,500 miles per hour, 28,163 kilometers per hour. At these speeds, even marble-sized debris can punch holes in spacecraft. Our future planet. In 2018, there are around 7.6 billion people on our planet. By the year 2050, it will be home to nearly 10 billion. We have the power to decide what kind of world these people will live in. Will we change our habits and start to clean up the mess that we have made? Or will we continue with our polluting ways? Garbage Planet If we continue adding to landfills at the same speed as we do now, they could grow taller than the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Imagine tourists flying around the world to look at piles of old trash. For every 1.1 tons, one metric ton, of pollution, we create around 10 square feet, 3 square meters, of arctic ice melts. Plastics. We're on track to be throwing away a trillion plastic bottles a year by 2021. That's enough to stretch to the moon and back every year. Melting ice. Many low-lying countries, such as the Maldives, will disappear under the sea if temperatures continue to rise and more of the arctic ice melts. E-waste. Only tiny amounts of gold are used in laptops and phones. However, between 2018 and 2078, we will have thrown away enough to be build a solid gold Eiffel Tower. Oceans. Packaging made from seaweed could replace plastic and wouldn't harm fish that nibble on it. Deforestation. If we continue to cut down trees at the current rate, in 100 years there will be no rainforest left. Some of the world's most beautiful and fascinating creatures could be lost forever. By the year 2050, there will be more pieces of plastic in the ocean than fish. Energy sources. The Earth's fossil fuels will eventually run out. This means that we will have to rely on other sources of energy, such as renewables. The future is waste. It's not too late to clean up our act. Waste technology is evolving all the time, and scientists and engineers are always coming up with new ways to help us reduce and recycle our waste. Smart Fridge. Your refrigerator will tell you when to use up old food so it doesn't go to waste. It might even suggest a recipe you could try. 
biodegradable clothing. Clothes made of natural fibers like hemp and flax could be thrown onto the compost heap when they get holes in them. Garbage chutes. Specifically designed garbage chutes could carry waste all the way from the home or office to the sorting center so we would no longer need polluting garbage trucks. You have the power to make a positive change. Speak to your school. Ask your teachers to make changes to help waste less as a school. Paper and cardstock can be reused for craft projects. You could make a school compost heap to organize a swap shop for old clothes. You could even ask to speak about waste in an assembly. Email a politician. Politicians help to make laws that affect waste such as banning free plastic bags in stores. You can write to a local or national politician to ask them to help the environment through laws. Be a plastic-free family. For one week, collect all your family's plastic waste. At the end of the week, go through each item and think of plastic-free items you could use instead. By making swaps to create less waste, you can get on your way to becoming a plastic-free family. Organize a litter picking up day. Choose a public place such as a beach or a park and form a group to collect as much litter as you can find. Compete with each other to find the weirdest piece of trash, but make sure to avoid sharp objects. Ask an adult to safely get rid of these. Find out more. Here are a list of organizations and charities that can provide more information and ideas on how you can get involved. Beat the micro bead. Encourages people to avoid using products containing microplastics. An app enables you to scan a product to see if it contains them. Free Cycle, a nonprofit organization that encourages people to give away the items they no longer need, but are too good to throw away, to help reduce landfill waste. Keep America Beautiful, a national nonprofit organization that educates communities to take action to improve and beautify their communal environments. Foodwise, a campaign run by Australian organization Do Something that provides people with tips and information about how they can reduce their food waste. Friends of the Earth, a group of charities from 75 different countries that work together to defend and promote environmental causes. National Audubon Society, a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting conservation to protect birds and, to, and the places they need to survive and thrive. National Wildlife Federation, a national organization that works to protect and conserve wildlife and their habitats across the United States. Social Plastic, a charity created to support and grow recycling communities to encourage recycling and prevent ocean plastic waste. Rainforest Alliance, a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to working with farmers, scientists, communities, and businesses to conserve biodiversity and ensure sustainable livelihoods. Ocean, Ocean Conservancy, a nonprofit organization that works to create solutions to maintain a healthy ocean and safe environment for marine wildlife. Surf Rider Foundation, a U.S. charity that is dedicated to protecting the coastline and oceans from pollution because it is making surfers sick. Waste No Food, a nonprofit food waste charity that helps redistribute leftover food to those who need it. Sierra Club, environmental organization that aims to protect the USA's wild places and public land from pollution and destruction. Tree City USA, a, r a program from the Arbor Day Foundation that promotes planting trees in urban areas to create healthy urban tree canopies. World Wild Wildlife Fund, a worldwide charity that strives to protect and conserve nature and animals from pollution and deforestation. Glossary, bacteria, microbes that live everywhere on earth such as inside food, soil, and the human body. Biodiversity, the different plants and animals living in an area. Climate change, change in temperature and weather across the earth that can be natural or caused by human activity. Conservation, protecting environments and plants and animal life. Decompose, when a material or dead plant or animal breaks down naturally. E-waste, electronic waste such as tablets and smartphones. Eco-friendly, something that does not harm the environment. 
ecosystem, living things in a particular environment that rely on one another, for example, for food or shelter. Endangered, species or types of animals or plant, low in numbers that could become extinct. Energy, power that makes things happen. It is found in different forms, including heat, light, movement, sound, and electricity. Environment, area in which plants or animals live. Extinction, when a species or type of animal or plant dies out completely. Fossil fuels, fuels made from animals or plants that died millions of years ago, for example, coal. Glacier, frozen river of ice that moves very slowly across land. Global warming, when temperatures rise all around the world. Greenhouse gas, gas that traps heat like a greenhouse. Groundwater, water found beneath the ground. Habitat, natural home or environment for an animal. Incineration, burning something, for example, waste in a process that may produce electricity. Keystone species, living thing that is one of the most important within an ecosystem. Leachate, water that has absorbed substances from the materials it has passed through, such as trash in a landfill. Marine, related to seas or oceans. Microbes, tiny living things that can only be seen with a microscope. Ozone, a form of the gas oxygen found in a layer around the earth, which stops too much ultraviolet light reaching the surface. Poacher, someone who kills animals without permission from the person who owns the animal or the land on which it lives. Pollution, something harmful that gets into the air, a water source, or soil. Preservation, substance added to food that keeps the food fresher for long enough. Renewable, type of fuel or energy that won't run out such as wind or of which more can be made or grown such as trees. Resource, something that is useful to humans, such as materials with which we can build our homes. Sustainable, use of resources in such a way that they will not run out or become too hard to find. Toxic, substance that is dangerous such as a poison. Ultraviolet, UV, type of light that can damage human and other animal skin if the skin is exposed to it for too long. It's important to reduce, reuse, and recycle whenever we can. I love to cycle. It's so much fun, especially downhill. Cleo, not cycle. I said recycle. It means reuse things like paper, plastic, and glass instead of throwing them away. I see. Like when I reuse my bamboo leaves to make a cozy bed. Can you think of any other ways we can be less wasteful? We can refuse to waste food. That's right, Cleo. We should try not to waste food, but only taking what we need and eating everything on our plates. And we can also reuse food by eating leftovers. Like when I have leftover bamboo shoots for breakfast. Well, not exactly, but close enough. How about we reduce using plastic bags by using our fur as a bag instead? While that's a creative idea, I think we should stick to reusable cloth bags instead. Not everybody has fur. I still think my fur would make a great bag. I think that it's a good idea. Another good idea is to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam. And I'm Cleo. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Did you know glass never decomposes? A glass bottle can take up to one million years to break down in a landfill. However, it can be recycled into the same material again and again.